They, uh, they beat, beat Italy convincingly. So, uh, and looking back, we've, we've had a lot, a lot of close encounters, especially in the, in the recent past. And I'm sure this this weekend will be no, will be no different. Uh, we just have to be uh, on our toes and, and make sure that what we can control is is our structures and, and stuff like that, and be on top of that leading to this weekend's game. Expecting a high physicality. You know, game up front from from their forward. Um, you know, obviously they come from Europe, so they're you know going to bring a um, strong strong set piece, especially they're more in their scrum. So that's what we'll be expecting up front. Syria this week, a team that we, we know quite well now. It's always a close a close game with them, a couple of points in it. What do we need to do to get over that game line and get a good result on, on Saturday? Um, we need to make sure that we, we train well this week and our, all of our first phase moves are, are polished up. Um, we need to make sure our defence is spot on. We know how good Australia are in attack and they've got some very special players, so we've got to make sure that we our defence is spot on throughout the game for the full 80 minutes. Um, uh, and we need to make sure we win that kicking battle as well, so our kick chase needs to be spot on. We've got some great counter-attack players too. Yeah, I think they're massive though. But, you know, you're around the, the boys 24-7, so it's great just to to catch up with people that you, you wouldn't usually catch up with and find out a bit more about each other and go out for coffees and dinners and all sorts just to to really um, get that togetherness, which I think is really important. Um, and obviously the games are, are massively important as well, so to have good training weeks, um, two, three, four days training every week together um, really makes a difference and I think it really uh, cements the squad. What are the best and worst things? That's a, that's a funny question, that one. Um, I mean, I found out I've got much bigger quads than Rory Hughes, so it's probably the best thing. Um, worst thing about Rosa um, is, I mean, he's terrible at dancing. Best thing, uh, he's fairly chilled. He's a pretty chilled character. Um, uh, he's he gets uh, been in bed pretty early, um, which I like. You know, we're we're tucked up by <laughs> probably at ten o'clock, um, which is not a bad thing. Uh, worst thing, he's actually you might be surprised, a pretty bad snorer. Which normally to the big guys, you know, the front rowers are always complaining about snoring. Finn can Finn can make a bit of noise.